you're someone for whom public safety has been an issue for 20 years. Um, you know, this, it's not surprising that you're not coming to us with a measure to guarantee funding for affordable housing. I mean, this has been sort of your baby. Um, as I'm sure you know, Beth Slovic wrote a cover story last week about uh, a different kind of potential crime. That is that uh, Gordon Smith has got a food processing plant in Eastern Oregon uh, that has employed and is currently employing uh, undocumented workers and followed it up this week uh, by naming one and talking to four others. How, how do you feel about that? Well, I object to anybody allowing illegal conduct to go forward. There's civil illegal and there's criminal illegal. Okay. Now, the reason I've been an advocate is actually, it seems has seemed to me that there was a gap in terms of who's going to step forward and advocate for public safety. I mean, there's a pantheon of characters out there who are doing good things, and I support them when they're out there for social services or they're for education, and as a legislator, I did too. But I kept looking at public safety, and I saw that the, the, the pulpit seemed to be empty. And someone needs to step in there and put together a program and bring forth ideas, and so I chose to do that. Uh, if, if it had been some other pulpit, perhaps I would I shouldn't use the pulpit analogy. He's a Christian zealot, but... Um, the idea is to step in and, and, to, and to advocate, and I just haven't seen consistent advocacy in those areas. Okay, but, I, but I want to get you back to this point. How do you feel about the fact that there's a sitting United States senator representing this state who has several hundred employees, many of which are undocumented or illegal? I'm going to be real careful about this one. My view is every business in this state should be subjected to scrutiny about following the law. And we all know that Gordon Smith is not allowed to run that business, although his wife is chairman of the board, because as a senator, he has to step back. I accept his representations that he has told the people as best he can to do everything they can to comply with the law. And I accept that. And having accepted that, that doesn't mean I, we don't go beyond that and say we're still going to look at compliance and insist that there be compliance. I also think, though, across the board, we need to be very careful about how we approach the issue of illegal immigration. It has not been resolved at the federal level. It's, it's, it's out there as a, as, a, as, a, as a searing issue that needs to be addressed. And the solution are not the extremes. You know, forget about it and exonerate everybody or send everybody home. Uh, so that's another let, issue. Let, let me go back. You, you said earlier that parks.